Hello everyone on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining the Stock Martin channel. I have a great video for you today. We're going to talk about the CCIV stock, the stock market as a whole. Uh, there's a lot of red going out there, a lot of uh, down uh, trending news um, that's impacting the stock market. So we're going to get down into it, talk about it. Um, also give you some news about CCIV Lucid. Uh, the merger is only one week away from uh, actually tomorrow. Um, so we have seven more days, but I think you're really going to like this video. Um, I have a lot to share with you. Before we jump down into it, if you everybody can give me that thumbs up, a like button. Um, hit that like button. Uh, it'll give me uh, a chance to share this video with others. Also, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit all so you can get all my videos. And we can share this with the community. But let's get down into it. Uh, today we're going to be talking about, um, as I mentioned, the CCIV Lucid stock. And um, today has been a red day for uh, CCIV Lucid. A few factors, uh, the major factor of this is because of what uh, the Fed Chair Jerome Powell um, kind of talked about inflation. Inflation was a big topic today um, in the uh, federal government. General Powell did mention that uh, there would be a lot of inflation and inflation is going to stick around for a few months. So. We're not in that recovery uh, quite yet. We're still in the recovery phase, but we haven't really recovered in the economy yet. There are also the news out there about the Delta variants uh, on the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. So that does have a lot of people scared as well. Um, so anytime you have fear, um, you do have a big sell-off. Also that uh, Peter Rawlinson, uh, the shareholder call, uh, that was yesterday. I did do a, um, a highlight video about it yesterday. There wasn't really enough energy and enough uh, catalyst or enough hype uh, to really bump up the stock. Uh, it was kind of lukewarm. Or re it received lukewarm reviews. As I mentioned, it didn't really tell us anything new. The only, I guess, new piece of information it did tell us is that um, by the year 2030, Lucid Motors does produce or will be producing an estimated 500,000 uh, vehicles per year, which will be on uh, about the same as Tesla is right now. So uh, Tesla last year produced 500,000 vehicles in a year. So Lucid thinks that it will uh, catch up to Tesla in uh, the year 2030. So that's pretty much the only big news that we heard. But um, other than that, it really um, it was kind of real fizzled out. This article also does uh, mention that the Tesla full self-driving version 9.0 hit vehicles on Monday uh, with a software upgrade. And so, um, again, this is really positive good news for Tesla. And as we'll see a little bit later, Tesla stock went down pretty much, like I mentioned, all the stocks uh, went down. Uh, Wall Street was incapable to move anything or move anything upward because the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, pretty much talked about things and said that the central bank would deliver powerful support until the economic recovery is complete. He did add that inflation is expected to remain elevated in the upcoming months. So this is what people are fearful, especially out there. So inflation will be around for the upcoming months, and it's premature to uh, act on it now because it would be a mistake. So right when this news happened, the NASDAQ uh, it went down, uh, the Dow went down. So let me just show you real quick. According to Yahoo Finance, by the end of the day, let me zoom into this just so you can see it a little bit better, that we can see um, S&P 500 uh, went down, Dow went down, NASDAQ went down, even the Russell 2000, uh, it went down uh, by quite a bit. So, I mean, everything just is down because we're seeing a lot of this bad news a lot of negativity in the air. So uh, what this means to Lucid? Well, uh, let's take a look. Again, this article does talk about the Lucid Motor CEO, Peter Rawlinson, uh, that he did have his uh, shareholder call. That was uh, yesterday. And the initial reviews uh, were tempted, which is lukewarm at best. Comments on the presentation, it was exactly as I thought as well. Um, it was a lot of recycled information, nothing really new. And we just talked about all the flashy, uh, over being over flashy, no substance. He tried his best to get people excited, a lot of the voters and the mergers excited. But, you know, we've already had that. We've already uh, talked about the merger 
And so there was really nothing uh, big and new uh, to take away from this. The largest takeaway from the call seemed that, um, again, Lucid will be on track to scale its production to nearly 500,000 vehicles per year. And this is by the year 2030. So if uh, Peter Rawlinson and Lucid Motors can pull this off, the company should be able to keep pace with Tesla over the next decade. So um, I did talk in the past few videos, if you watched, that buying CCIB or Lucid Motors um, in right now around this time, it's kind of like when uh, Tesla was around in the year 2010. Um, it didn't have any vehicles out there. It had 1,000 of its roaster vehicles, and it was selling its stock as $17 a share. Fast forward two years later in the year 2012, uh, Tesla made its first Model S vehicle, which Peter Rawlinson was the chief engineer and producer of that vehicle. And so if you can get into a time machine and, and go back, um, would you have bought Tesla stock at $17? Um, I think a lot of people out there would definitely say yes. And um, this is another opportunity for people to get into this stock. I'm not telling you when to buy it and if you should even buy uh, because this is still a risky stock. Remember, Lucid Motors has not delivered any vehicles to any customers yet. They are planning to have 577 vehicles delivered this year. I did want to uh, talk to you about some news that just uh, came out today. Uh, this is about three hours, five hours old now. Um, Lucid Motors introduces the Lucid Care Service Program alongside the vehicle warranty details. And so what Lucid will be doing uh, in order to be servicing your vehicle, they will be coming to you. So. Uh, Lucid Motors has said that they have a premium uh, quality vehicle, luxury qu uh, quality vehicle, and they do not want you to spend time going to the service department to get your vehicle serviced. They will come to you. Um, if there's anything that they can't fix on site, they will uh, take the car for you, have it repaired, and bring it to you. In the interim, they will provide you with some kind of uh, vehicle service, and that part they didn't go into detail on. Um, so this is quite uh, interesting and quite nice to know. So this Lucid Care will provide 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 day support as a convenience, uh, offering convenience to support drivers and the owners of these electric vehicle, uh, super luxury vehicles. And so whenever you need, uh, they'll be there for you. This means that in any annual or routine maintenance uh, can be performed anywhere and a lot of the repairs can be done over the air updates. Uh, they can be fixed through over the air updates. Also, in, they said in the event that you have a more serious accident, uh, Lucid will transport your vehicle to a service center and they also will help you get where you need to go thereafter. Uh, they are uh, promising the over the air updates as I mentioned. Um, they can also do remote diagnostics to diagnose and re your repair without you even having to do anything or um, having a mobile van come to you. Um, so looking at Lucid Motors new vehicle warranty, this is uh, something that has not come out or at least I have not seen. Let me zoom in on this. It says in addition to announcing the perks associated with the Lucid Care Service Program, uh, the company is sharing its new vehicle limited warranty. So its basic warranty bumper to bumper will be four years, 50,000 miles powertrain, which will include all the motors, inverters, it will be eight years, uh, 100,000 miles. The high voltage battery will also be the same, eight years, 100,000 miles to 70% uh, capacity. Uh, the corrosive protection will be 10 years un unlimited mileage body and paint defects, four years unlimited mileage, and the supplemental or restraint system, five years, 60,000 miles. What's interesting is that high voltage battery, uh, I just see up here, it looks like they're warranting it up to 70% capacity. Um, so that's kind of interesting, especially given that big range um, that Lucid is giving, what, 517 miles on its longest range. Um, if your vehicle, I guess, is 70% of that, um, just doing the math really quickly, what would that give you? About 400 miles range. So I guess if it goes down to around that, 
I don't know, will they replace it? So good question if you know, guys, or if you have an idea, give me a comment down below so see what you think about this. But, but yeah, this is kind of big news for Lucid Motors out there. Looking at CCIV stock right now, it did have a big hit today. It got, went down by 8% under that $25 mark um, that has been its base. It has it's been consolidation for quite some time now. Um, so yeah, we've uh, actually tested in the past one month, $22.96 back on June 1st. But um, since then, since about June 23rd, we've always had that consolidation of at least $25. And here you could also see it. So you know, for the last two, three weeks, we had that consolidation of $25. We did have the resistance of $28, $29. And uh, we did break that um, that consolidation or that base. Um, so we are, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if we're going to start a new base. Um, with all the red out there and all the bad news out there with the economy, with the inflation, um, things are still trying to get back to normal. Also, the COVID variants are coming out. Um, we could see this uh, stock continue to go down, but nobody will know, especially with these turbulent times, it's affecting all the stocks out there. Um, looking at also other stocks, just to compare, uh, NEO is also down 4.25%. Um, it actually also went down its uh, $45 consolidation or base. Um, it went down all the way to $42.85. So, um, it, this is hitting all the stocks out there, guys. Um, Palantir, um, you have ChargePoint. I mean, all these are hit, getting hit uh, pretty bad. Um, again, also Tesla went down 2.27%. I mean, it, at its highest today to its lowest, 3.6%. So, so again, nothing really uh, bad, bad news about uh, Lucid Motors out there. It's just that the whole economy, uh, all the stocks took a big hit uh, today. This week has been pretty red for this, uh, for a lot of the stocks. Um, and it, it looks like we're in a turbulent time right now. Uh, we'll just kind of have to uh, weather it out. Um, I would say that if you don't have any positions in Lucid Motors, CCIV, you might have some good buying opportunities. If you are owning uh, these stocks, it's uh, maybe a good chance to buy some dips. Uh, whenever we see these prices going down. Remember, if you could go back to the time machine uh, back in 2012 and somebody offered you a $17 share price for Tesla, uh, would you have bought it? Um, this is a risk. Will Lucid Motors be like Tesla in the year 2030, making those 500,000 vehicles um, per year? Nobody has that silver ball or that crystal ball to tell you this. And so all we can do is speculate. We can look at the fundamentals of the company. I think once we see these productions happening, once we see these deliveries happening, uh, once we see glowing reviews of the vehicle itself, um, you do definitely have that demand, which is a very big catalyst. Over 10,000 reservations, uh, people putting in big money, over $7,000 just to reserve their vehicle. Um, it, it looks like there's services you know, for uh, Lucid, that have been announced today that they'll come to your house, that they'll come to you to fix your car. I think that's a nice incentive uh, to have. And also, um, and I did not mention this in any of my videos, but uh, Lucid Motors is also giving three years, if I'm not mistaken, and please fact check me if you're watching this video, they are giving three years, I believe, uh, supercharging for free. So Tesla, if you remember back in the day, used to give unlimited free supercharging and then it became, you know, just one year and now they don't have any free supercharging at all. But um, that's a nice perk if you get in uh, and buy a Lucid vehicle early. So again, fact check me, but um, again, I think this company is a long-term play. It's a long-term investment. Um, if you uh, invest into this company, please invest money that you uh, can and don't have to touch or, or really don't have to use within, I would say, the next year, two years, um, if not longer, uh, so that money can grow. Uh, it will have its bump in the roads, uh, bumps in the road, and uh, it is still a uh, quite new company. So with that does come with it, its risk. But I hope you like this video. Uh, thank you so much again for watching. Please give me that thumbs up, the like button. 
He'll share it with everybody uh, that uh, would like to watch this video. Also, thank you again so much for everybody that have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, I would like you to join our channel and our journey in learning about stocks. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit all so you can get all my videos. And uh, drop me down some comments. Um, I love to respond to you. And uh, thank you again for all your support. Until next time. Down below, if you would like to help out the channel, I put two links. One's for Webull. If you open an account, deposit $100, you get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. If you deposit $100 into Coinbase, you get $10 of cryptocurrency and trading. Thank you for supporting the channel.